Hi, good morning and good evening to everyone. So welcome to Mainframe TV tutorial session 2. So in this video this would be uh, this would be the second tutorial under DB2. So continuation of the tutorial one. As an application programmer we use the tables, columns, rows and indexing indexes. So what is a table? Table is a combination of rows and columns. Columns are called as attributes and rows are called as triples. So every table is identified by unique table name and formed between 1 to 30 alphanumeric characters. The same way every column is identified by unique name, column name formed between 1 to 30 alphanumeric characters. So every column should be created with data type length. So what are the different kinds of DB2 data types we have? We have like integer, small integer, decimal, char, var char, date, time, timestamp, graph and var graphs. So these are the various uh, DB2 data types we would be using. So let's talk about the differences between Qoma, Finder, Spoofy. So before we go into the actual uh, programming of a DB2 first the, the main thing we need to do is we need to do a lot of practice on uh, SQL queries using uh, uh, provided tools like uh, QMF or our spoofy so before we work on QMF find spoofy just we need to understand the differences what exactly the QMF and uh, uh, spoofy are uh, QMF it will be used to execute only one query at a time and using spoofy you can execute multiple queries at a time so query is typed in qmf tool itself here the queries are stored in a pds member and the results are uh, results will be thrown in a ps so uh, using qmf uh, you can process low volume of data here also it can process uh, low and large volume of data so sql error code cannot be displayed using qmf whereas you can see the error codes uh, in a PS whenever a query is performed where it is stored. So when a query runs results are displayed in the QMF tool itself, right? Results are displayed in PS. So no number of rows to be displayed can't be restricted. Number of rows can be displayed and uh, can be restricted. So these are the basic difference we need to understand before we start using these tools. So how do we connect to the spoofy or QMF? So on mainframe this will be the, with the following screen you have all the tools installed on your mainframe system so the various uh, tools will be like DC, spoofy, DCL, gen. these are the different tools uh, based on these options you can select if you select one it will go to spoofy screenshot I mean spoofy screen and in the same way if you select the QMF it will go to QMF if I select QMF so you will be entering into the QMF screen so so based on the things, I mean, you if you want to run a query, just uh, type in a six query, and then enter your command so that your query gets run on the same screen. So in the same way, screenshot showing for spoofy. So if you select the spoofy option over here, then it will go to the spoofy screen. So what you need to do is you need to the uh, uh, you need to de uh, define your d uh, PDS member name uh, where you run your queries and. Uh, your data set name where the results are seen so this is the way uh, we practice both uh, spoofy and uh, qmf uh, 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 by learning different queries so once we are perfect with this query then we go to an actual programming and we start coding either with it's a cobol db2 or cobol plus db2 vzam or co online uh, we can write in both batch and online programs so Thank you for watching with this video. Have a great and wonderful day.